Sharon Stone is a name that needs no introduction. She's the vintage queen of Hollywood. But her untold real-life story is darker and more mysterious than most people know. From getting abused by her grandfather to a tragic event that put her on a 1% chance of survival. Today, we'll rewind the clock and take you on a journey into the shocking, little-known details about the life of Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone was born in Meadville, Pennsylvania on March 10, 1958 to Joseph and Dorothy. And it seems she couldn't wait to have a go at life as she was already walking and talking by her first birthday. Growing up, Sharon's family seemed like any other. Two elder brothers and one younger sister. Her father working in a factory and her mother balancing books as an accountant. It was the typical life of an American family in the 50s and 60s and it all seemed balanced and great. But behind closed doors, the family was grappling with the aftermath of a terrible secret. Sharon's grandfather had abused her and her younger sister Kelly when they were just children. This trauma manifested itself in many ways throughout Sharon's teenage years. Though outwardly she seemed happy and normal, always striving to do well at school and make friends. Inside, she was struggling with issues of self-worth, leading to eating disorder and other destructive behavior. It wasn't until much later in life that Sharon realized the full extent of what had happened to her as a child. It took intense therapy sessions for her to finally unlock the memories of abuse buried within her subconscious mind. She told the New Yorker, I came to understand that my abuse started really, really young. I just started screaming, who does that? Because I had such a mental block that someone could abuse such a young child that way. I just couldn't accept what had happened to me. But Sharon's life was plagued with more than just the trauma of abuse. Death seemed to follow her wherever she went, like an unwanted shadow. Her uncle Jean was at the heart of many of these tragic events. When Sharon was a little girl, Jean met a chilling end at the front steps of his cottage, surrounded by a pool of blood from a head injury he had sustained. But this was just the beginning of Sharon's brushes with mortality. Jean struggled with mental illness, and his erratic behavior often frightened Sharon. She vividly remembered the time when he threatened to shoot himself in front of her as a child. To make matters worse, Sharon's mother seemed to brush off Jean's suicidal ideation as if he was nothing, leaving Sharon feeling helpless and alone. But none of this prepared her for her next life-threatening experience when she was hit by lightning at the tender age of 12. She survived the ordeal but not without serious injuries that took months to heal from. The incident became national news and even today remains one of Sharon Stone's most amazing stories. In addition to this incident, another freak accident saw her get severely injured during a horse riding accident. She had damaged her neck and the injury took a significant period of time to heal from. She always maintained that her neck was never quite the same after this incident. In spite of this near-death experience, Sharon Stone's determination and ambition saw her through the darkness. After graduating high school, she won a writing scholarship to the University of Pennsylvania and majored in creative writing and fine arts. But it was acting that truly excited her. From performing plays in her family's garage as a child to hiring an acting coach with money from beauty pageant, Sharon had always wanted to be an actor. In 1977, she moved to New York City and signed with Ford Modeling Agency. It wasn't long before she became one of their biggest stars, following starring roles in highly successful campaigns like the Charlie Perfume ad. Her talent and staying power within Hollywood's elite circle of stars was only becoming more apparent. Sharon eventually landed her big break in 1980 when Woody Allen cast her as a waitress in his movie Stardust Memories. After this small part, the roles slowly began to pour in for the budding actress, and within no time, she had made quite an impression on film fans. It was 1992's Basic Instinct that catapulted her to fame. She played the role of Catherine Trammell, a manipulative bisexual serial killer. She had to brave a storm of controversy that swept over her with this role as LGBTQ protesters went to town on it 
for playing into the common movie trope of bisexuals being psychopaths. However, screenwriter Joe Esteres pulled Stone's twisted character from his own experiences. He based Catherine Tremel on a real go-go dancer with whom he had had a one-night stand. This dancer pulled a gun on him in his hotel room, asking him why she shouldn't pull this trigger. That incident was the basis of a scene in Basic Instinct that showed the character of Trammell playing a similar game with police investigating her. That was not the only difficulty Stone had to face while making this movie. The infamous ice pick scene, in which Catherine stabs a man with an ice pick, was especially traumatic for Stone, and she came up with a way to get through it. She brought her real-life best friend on set to tell her jokes and keep things light while they filmed the scene. Producers also kept a paramedic on set with an oxygen tank in case she started hyperventilating. Sharon's performance as a seductive killer made headlines and earned her numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. It is often cited as one of the most iconic performances in movie history. It also transformed Sharon Stone into an international sex symbol, and she was even voted one of People magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People that same year. This certainly put Sharon on the map in Hollywood, but it was Martin Scorsese's classic gangster flick Casino that cemented her status as a serious actress. As mobster's mole Ginger, she eclipsed even Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci in terms of screen presence and earned herself an Oscar nomination for Best Actress in 1996. Sharon Stone was at the top of her game. She had made her mark as an actor, but it all changed suddenly in 2001 when she suffered a near-fatal stroke. She was wrapping up shooting for some promotional work in Chicago and had begun to feel ill. Sharon assumed it was nothing but a bug that had been going around the set. However, doctors soon discovered that she had experienced a massive stroke and a brain hemorrhage. Her chance of survival was given at only 1% and she was immediately admitted to the intensive care unit. It came as a shock to everyone, particularly since Sharon had been known for her robust health and fitness routine. As it turns out, doctors at the time hadn't taken her seriously and believed that she was just being dramatic. After all, she was an actress. Her recovery took many years, and Sharon still suffers from the effects of the brain injury to this day. Not only that, but she is now more aware than ever of how fragile life can be. In her own words, I don't think anyone grasps how dangerous a stroke is for women and what it takes to recover. It took me about seven years. After seven years of recovery, Sharon Stone was ready to get back into the swing of things. She had been cast in some of Hollywood's biggest films and was finally feeling like her old self once again. However, during this time, she also faced one of her toughest battles yet, a bitter custody battle over her son Rowan against ex-husband Phil Bronstein. According to ABC News, Bronstein accused Sharon of overreacting to their child's ailments. The outlet reported that Stone erroneously believed her son had a spinal cord condition and acted in an inappropriate manner with regard to his foot odor, wanting to get Botox injected into his feet to stop them from sweating. A judge ruled that Stone was not an appropriate guardian for her son, and she subsequently lost custody of him. Deeming her behavior to be reprehensible, the judge claimed that Stone was unable to provide the structure, continuity, and reliability that Rowan needs and candidly deserves. Stone maintained that Bronstein had fabricated claims of unfit motherhood in order to take a child away from her. In a heartbreaking interview with Saga, she said that she couldn't cope with the loss of her son and would lay down and cry all day after being forced to say goodbye. Fortunately, Stone was eventually able to regain custody of Rowan in 2011, something which she continues to be grateful for today. Despite the bouts of adversity she had to face, Sharon Stone has never stopped believing in her dreams. Even after her stroke and the custody battle over her son, she refused to give up on acting, going on to appear in countless movies and television series throughout her career. In 2018, Stone made a triumphant return to the small screen in Steven Soderbergh's HBO mystery production Mosaic. 
Portraying a murdered children's book author and illustrator, Stone was praised for her performance by critics and audiences alike. Maureen Ryan of Variety even declared that the star displays terrific range and depth and holds the screen with effortless charisma. She has since gone on to star in a number of other projects, including Netflix's Ratched in 2010, where she played a wealthy heiress whose son had been disfigured by a doctor. Intrigued by Ryan Murphy's pitch, Stone described the role as completely insane, and at the same time, she thinks she's really a loving mother who has her shit together. The show was a success, and it reaffirmed Stone's status as a Hollywood A-lister, proving that no obstacle is too big for her to conquer. Sharon Stone continues to show everyone who doubted her just what she can do. For over 30 years, the Golden Globe award-winning actress has been inspiring people around the world with her resilience and courage. No matter how tough things get, Stone has never stopped believing in herself, a quality that will undoubtedly continue to lead her far into the future. If you enjoy this video, there's a good chance you'll enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click on it to enjoy.